All right, stock's still booming. Up today, 12th straight day, I think. Yeah, there they are. A lot of green. Arrows are up. So I'm assuming the non-rich are getting rich, right? All those middle-class people that own IRAs and 401ks. And by the way, especially in Ireland. I want to talk to Ireland. We have Kevin O'Leary, chairman of O'Leary Ventures, Shark Tank investor, author of The Cold Hard Truth on Business, Money, and Life. He is a, wait for it, citizen of Ireland and Canada. And somebody said the United Arab Emirates. I didn't know about that one, Kevin. That, that makes you very the, special. That would be the UAE, Larry. The UAE, <laughs> Canada. And oops, there's Ireland. Oh. And you know what I say? Think about this. Where does capital flow? Why do I have all these citizenships in the first place? Why do you? This is who gets the most, the UAE. Why? Zero corporate taxes. Ireland, 12 and a half. Pretty good and close to Europe. Nobody gives these guys any money anymore because it's the richest country on earth run by idiots. And so that's not where investment goes. So I'm just pointing out the truth. Don't shoot the messenger. No, I want to kidding? invest in all these places. I'm going to applaud the messenger. But I, this Irish thing, this is a good deal. I love this. Passport. I was the guy when the Irish president came. We had the meeting in the Oval Office with Mr. Trump. I was the guy who defended their 12.5% corporate tax rate because... Uh, all these Treasury people and others, you know, uh, they want to equalize tax rates, and that's nonsense. And by the way, Ireland has a terrific economic growth rate, the best in Europe, and their stock market, hang on, Mr. Wonderful, I'm going to go down this road. You are a citizen. I hope you're invested. The Irish stock market year-to-date is up 25%. Year on year, the Irish stock market is up 37%, and it's killing the European. Euro stocks up a paltry 3% year to date. Ireland is the place to be. So you're a clever chap, and that's why you have your citizenship in Ireland. But it just goes to show you, right, if you lower tax rates, if you pay more after tax, uh, if you... Uh, earn more after tax, then capital is going to flow. You will win the world race for capital. And that's what's happening to Ireland. That, let's go back a couple of decades, Larry. You're going to remember this because you were around same time I was. The inversion started. It started in yes. the pharmaceutical sector where we domestically pushed out our companies because of very high corporate taxes. Mm -hmm. They simply moved their headquarters to Dublin Luck of the Irish mm -hmm. kissed the Blarney Stone mm -hmm. and started to license production all around the world. That created a behemoth sector in Ireland, which is now the envy of all of Europe. This is a simple policy metric that we're measuring here. You lower corporate taxes anywhere on earth, you do it like the UAE guys do, you get billions of dollars. And that's why there's so much money going to Abu Dhabi. You have terrible policy like Canada, sorry, wrong passport, you got terrible policy like Canada, you get nothing. And that's exactly what they're finding well, we out now. we lowered it here. And of course, don't forget, we lo Trump lowered it from 35 to 21 and had 100% expensing. And the capital was flowing here. And we had a very strong stock market, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, the trouble is the current administration keeps chipping away, chipping away on that tax thing. So the capital reflow may go. Let me talk some more, though. Other subjects I want to cover. Uh, you've got this nice rally going on, 12 straight days. Uh, year to date, the S&P 500 is up about 20. No, it's up. Yeah, it's up to about 19 percent and change. OK, can that continue, uh, Kevin O'Leary? It's a nice rally year to date. Uh, inflation's coming down, even though all prices are going up. Uh, interest rates are not coming down. Uh, is this a durable rally? Because all these people own 401ks, middle class working folks, and they're not rich, but I want the non-rich to get rich. What say you? Well, they are getting rich right now. This narrative around this rally and those that sold into it early saying, no, it can't be sustained, were wrong. And that's the way the market does. It proves the majority of the people wrong most of the time. But having said that, we have another rate hike, 100% certainty tomorrow, and then at least a 30% chance of one in September. I'll tell you the canary in the coal mine that's bothering me quite a bit right now, and I celebrate this rally, and I'm certainly invested in it, and I'm happy to see it happen. But this narrative is around a soft landing. Mm. The problem mm. with this, and right. I keep talking to you about this every time we're together, is when I look at what it costs now to borrow money 
for the 60% of the economy that's not the S&P 500, small business in America, tomorrow they're going to be paying about 11% for credit lines after that 25 basis point. I think if we raise another one and we get to the terminal rate of six and maybe more past that, that's where we're going to break because mm. People keep forgetting the S&P, while very important, particularly globally, is only 40% of the jobs created in America. The rest are small business. That's 60%. And we are not spending enough time talking about that or worrying about it. Right. I'm worried about it because I see the fractions every day, and I'm worried about that rate hike tomorrow. Well, you may be very right. You may be right. There's a little too much euphoria about this soft landing stuff. I think that's 100% right. So we'll all move to Ireland, at least, I don't know, six months out of the year, Mr. Wonderful. Uh, I want you to come from Miami to come back on our set so we can do this properly. Kevin O'Leary, everybody, the smartest of the smartest.